Hey everyone, I know it's been a while, but we're back with a new video, and today we're sharing our pickups for uh, the month of March so far. I know it's only just began, but I've I've accumulated quite a bit of games. Uh, starting off with Puzzle Fighter 2 for the Game Boy Advance, uh, complete inbox. Gotta love the Puzzle Fighter series that Capcom does. Um, it's sort of like Tetris, if you've ever played that, I'm sure most of you have, being gamers. Uh, I was able to grab this for a decent price, and the box quality is pretty good. There's a slight dent here, but that's alright. Um, as you can see, here's the game. Very nice. Autofocus, you're not with me today, but... No scratches on the cart. And I have all the books here. Manual, user safety, health guide, and uh, Nintendo Power subscription. Which is awesome, like... I really do miss this magazine. So we got that, and I was super excited because my GBA collection is small nowadays, uh, having to restart it, which is alright. Um, I have this little plastic case that I, I like to put my GBA games in, being that they're cardboard, so you kind of just bend it into shape. Let me see, yeah. There we go. So you bend it into shape like that, and then you close one side, you put the other side in, and it, you know, protects the cardboard because over time it will start to weather and become a little more frail, so I just like to keep it as, as encased as I can, if you will. I'll keep the cartridge out because I will, you know, I will play the game. Uh, See if I can get this here. There you go. So it'll look like this. See, now it's nice and clean. And you bend this in like so. And there you have it. Now it's protected. Awesome. Uh, you can find these pretty cheap online. Uh, you, I usually buy them in packs. I have about 20 more, so I'm good to go for a bit if I want to increase my GBA collection. So we'll put that off to the side. Again, as always, music is by Noteblock, uh, awesome creator, lots of different cool mixes. This is a, a mix from Diamond and Pearl. Hyped about those remakes, that's a separate video that I'll be talking about more in depth as to my feelings and thoughts on it, um, as they are my favorite Pokemon game series. And I, I actually do like the art style they're going with as opposed to some others. Next up is Hellpoint for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, this recently just came out, plays kind of like Dark Souls, if you will. It says, Welcome Spawn. Um, dozens of melee and ranged weapons and armor pieces, and you're on a space station. So it's like sci-fi Dark Souls, I guess. We also were able to grab... Should have had those ready before. Bravely Default 2. I've been playing this game a lot, and it's very addicting. Art style is super nice. The music, as always, is Square Enix quality, so you know what you're getting with that. That's that there. Persona 5 Strikers. I haven't started this yet because I'm waiting to play through uh, and beat Persona 5 Royal. But I've heard great things about it. I heard the frame rate on the Switch is actually pretty good, um, which is nice to hear. And we also were able to grab this Taiko drum controller with sticks for the Nintendo Switch to play Taiko no Tatsujin, um, drum and fun. I haven't gotten the Rhythmic Adventure Pack yet. Uh, but I did buy some DLC for the anime packs and like Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that, so I figured we, sh we should uh, we should check it out. And the drum adds to the fun. You can play it with motion controls, you can play it with touch controls, you can play it docked or not docked, but I figured we would, we would do that uh, and go from there. I also... Oh, let me show you what it actually looks like. Out of the box, when it's there... It's a little assembly required, but not too much. It looks like that, and it holds the drumsticks in place, and then this would be the pad where you would hit. And it has a little controller for menus. Uh, I might do a bit separate video on that, but um, it's, you know, it's it's drumming. It's kind of like Guitar Hero if you've never played it. It's a rhythm game, except you're using drums. And the holy grail of pickups today, Pokemon Soul Silver, Complete in box. Super nice. This box has almost no issues with it. There is a little sticker residue, which you might be able to see right here, that I'm probably going to take off with Gooby Gun. But like, this this is a 10 out of 10 case, in my opinion. It looks super nice. 
Um, and I'll show you that it is complete in box and comes with the Pokey Walker. I got this for a good deal on eBay. So it has all the instruction manuals for the Pokey Walker in there. I'm probably not going to use the Pokey Walker, but hey, what we have it, as you can see, still in the plastic. The eBay person who sold it to me, the seller said it was never used, so I, I'll take your word for it, but even if it was, it's still nice to have. Here it is, the game case. This is in perfect condition. And it is legit, it's authentic, the, the, con the cartridge is authentic, it's in my DS right now, because I started playing it. Um, I did confirm a bunch of checks to make sure, because people have been faking them. There's the back of that. You can open it up here. You see all the manuals, pretty awesome. Uh, I was super excited to get this just because I was missing this generation, if that makes sense, of Pokemon games. Cause I, like I said, I sold all of my games back in the day and wanted to re-get them again. And I had every other generation of Pokemon through the DS, Game Boy Advance, um, Switch, all that fun stuff, except Gen 2. The only way to really get Gen 2 if you don't have the um, gold, silver, or crystal on the Game Boy Color is to get them either on the eShop for your 3DS, which I did buy one of them, or to have Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and Heart Gold, Soul Silver are hard to find. So I was like, I have to grab it. And since it was such a good deal, I said, why not? So everyone, those were my latest pickups for the month of March for the Nintendo Switch, Game Boy Advance, and other consoles. I'm really excited going forward to see what we get for the rest of March. We do have Monster Hunter Rise coming up. Crash Bandicoot 4, Kingdoms of Amalar, Story of Seasons, some Amiibos too. Uh, I did get the Cat Peach and Cat Mario Amiibo, but they were at my parents' house, so it is what it is. And I did order two more Amiibos that I'm missing from my collection. We're only missing 10 plus 2, so 12 total for the complete set, not including ones that haven't been released yet, so that's pretty exciting. But anyway, uh, I'm Frankenstein Gaming. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.